Everybody, I'm just probably actually start the vlog here. We just left Akihabara. I can't say right. We just Akibara. left Akihabara uh, Bay Hotel, and I made a video all about the capture hotel experience. If you want to watch it, it's a video before this one. And today we are currently at Tokyo Station, and we are about to go to Kyoto for the first time. <laughs> so we got here nice and early, and surprisingly, we didn't actually realize at the time of booking, our hotel is only four minute train ride away, and it's also included in our JR Pass, so we didn't have to pay extra for the ticket. It only took us four minutes and we are now here half an hour early. We have just collected our Japan Rail Pass. Yeah. Um, and we are currently at Shinjuku Station, so you have to look for the Japan Rail Pass East yeah. ticket office, yeah. not a standard metro or the standard JR office. And it is like in the entrance to the state, most of the stations, I yeah, think. But because yeah. we came up from the metro, we went to like. We've, we've gone like on a wild goose chase, basically. Offices, yeah. <laughs> we've got to, so we've basically done a workout for today because we're lugging yeah. around like 20 kilos up several flights of stairs. Because I think, I believe there are some lifts at some stations, but it's not immediately obvious. If you are collecting your tickets make sure to check online first whether your closest station has the ticket office to collect them because the smaller stations that we just came from Akasaka yeah. and they don't have it there because they don't have a JR line there but the main ones or the airport um, you can collect your pass and yeah. then validate it on that day just be warned if you're like booking transport from the airport like we went to get it yesterday and the line was really really long. yeah and yeah. remember when you collect your ticket to have your passport with you as well mm -hmm. so yeah when you first get here you just write down your name, uh, your nationality, your passport number, and then you just exchange it for your pass. Apart from that, it's pretty, pretty Very easy. smooth, yeah. very smooth. The staff are really friendly, and we just have to keep this on us because it cannot be reissued. So if you've lost it, you're screwed. We have just collected our Japan Rail Pass, so and also reserved a ticket for Kyoto, which you can do in advance at the station, just to make sure that you've got a seat because otherwise it's first come, first serve. But this is what your rail pass looks like. It has to still be on here, otherwise it's invalid. But here you've got your name, your nationality and passport number, and you have to show this at the gate um, at the station to show them. And it's valid from today for 14 days, which is the pass that we got. So this is what it looks like. We thought we'd get some food before we go on the train and it's going to be our first ever bullet train experience. Could I have uh, this one? Can I also have a miso soup and the uh, black oolong? Just ordering some onigiri for breakfast. Yes, that's all. Thank you so much. I got the spicy cod rope. I think it's grilled beef. It said beef on it, but I'm pretty sure this is grilled salmon. Either way, it's very good because I actually prefer salmon to beef. Also, some black oolong and some miso soup. So, all of this was 950 yen. Pickled mustard leaves and chicken. Mm. And this is like now my new favourite thing. This video is going to be all about the bullet train experience. And we're going to Kyoto. Yeah. And we're going to Kyoto. Yeah. 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 Y
Yes, yeah, it's only a couple of hours, but if you look at it on a map, it's really far. And apparently, if you take it on like a normal speed train, it's mm. like eight hours. So it's gonna go fast. Yeah, but otherwise, very, very smooth. Went straight from Tokyo Station and just queue up, get on the train. Oh, Hannah's gonna listen to a true crime podcast about serial killers in Japan, and um, I'm gonna get editing and play the game for it. <laughs> Okay. Also, that food was really, really good. It hit that spot. Mm. Oh my God, it's quick. It's so quick already. Gonna go fast. There is also free Wi-Fi and Hannah's demonstrated that there's a hat holder on board as well. I'm taking a little bit of a Game Boy break. Game Boys aren't region locked, but this one obviously I've bought in Japan, so everything's all in Japanese. But anyone that asks me, because quite a few people have asked me why I didn't get Pokemon, because I can't understand anything that's happening and there's a lot of dialogue. That was a great experience. We're here! Yay! <laughs> We are now on the subway, getting to the hotel. It's 2.20 yen for this ticket. This is what the station looks like and they actually have little labels of where to queue up and go. We have to be quick because we've already missed out on one. New stops. These are the first handrails I could ever reach. Normally they're way too high for me. I have to go on my tiptoes and this one I can just stand. We're on 5.06 at the Grand Buck, Grand Buck Hotel. Hotel. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Oh wow, it's got a, it's got a nice see-through shower. Hannah, you shouldn't have <laughs> booked us such a romantic room. <laughs> oh, cute. We've arrived in Kyoto and Hannah has booked us into a hotel called the Grand Buck Select Oiki or Oiki? Yeah, in Oiki. It was quite a faff trying to find it because it's not on Google Maps but it's on Apple Maps. Yeah. So we're here. It's we're very here. fancy. We found it eventually. We kind of were like, does this hotel even exist? And then we came through the door and we're like, oh, 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 oh it's oh, very oh, nice oh, here. Oh, yes. And um, yeah, they've got like a coffee machine downstairs which I'm going to go check out in a minute. Yeah. And complimentary sake and wine between 10 and 11 p.m. And we were like, go on then. It's like, oh. You know, go on. We, we need to um, experience the culture and whatnot. So if you insist, which you didn't, but you know. No, but like, oh, okay, oh, okay, I guess. I guess if we have to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now we're hungry, so maybe we can search where to some eat, sort of get some coffee, and then go for an explore. <laughs> past this Hawaiian restaurant early and it's called Eggs and Things. So we've just ordered two cocktails. My one's called the Lava Flow Mango, of course. Um, it's a pina colada with a mango twist. And also ordered um, something called, I don't want to say the pupu sampler. Um, and it's basically lomi lomi salmon with spicy ahi poke together. And then also a, order, a side order of spam, because I love spam, because I'm Asian. Um, and Hannah. I got, um, hi, <laughs> I got a Blue Hawaii classic, uh, it's blue so I like it, and uh, I was in the mood for a burger because I haven't had one for a while, so I'm getting <laughs> avocado cheeseburger with little fried potatoes. Did we order pancakes? Uh, no, but we are going to probably order pancakes off. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know which ones, they've got loads of different pancakes here, but um, it's so cute. And they have really cute cocktails, so I'm like, yo. This is my poo poo sampler. I don't want to say it, I don't want to say it right or not. It's P U P U. Poo poo? Poo poo. Poo We've got some salmon with avocado, and then also some avocado and tuna, and green onion, and red onion and a little sauce and lemon and my side order of spam oh my god i have a bite of your burger and we've got potatoes as well legit actually just like sitting here crying <laughs> with happiness 
<laughs> and also got spam, we got pancake, we got a burger, and that burger looks so good. Go take a picture and eat your potatoes. So we just ordered the coconut sampler like pancakes and I think they gave us two cans of whipped cream and some pancakes at the bottom. So we've got academia nuts, two cans of whipped cream, blueberries, mango, strawberry, banana, coconut pancakes and then we also have some maple syrup, coconut syrup and then what was the last one? Strawberry syrup. Go on Hannah, pour some over. Oh my goodness. Wanting a light dessert, but I guess that's not happening anymore. 